Hey guys, I haven't talked about being a password bro in a while, so I thought I'd do one today, but with a twist. You know, a lot of videos are on the internet about password bros, and it only shows things like chasing women or being with foreign women. And we're way more complex like uh, than that. And subconsciously, everybody knows life is more complex than just chase, you know, and a password bro that's going overseas to find a wife. We're more, it's more complex than that. Uh, here we have this beautiful Viper, 2001 Dodge Viper. Today I was able to share this vehicle with an elderly couple while I was pulling out to go somewhere. They saw the car and I saw them admiring it as I was driving by in a way that was almost childlike. A man, an elderly man and an elderly woman. So I pulled over and waited for them to get to where the vehicle was, introduced myself. And I was able to share the vehicle with them, let them touch it, get inside, ask questions. The lady says she was sick, feeling sick today and her seeing the car and being able to come up and touch it um, really made her day. And that, that humbled me that a vehicle like this car has that kind of aura, that, that magic to put a smile on people's faces people you don't expect to really appreciate a vehicle like this and to really make their day and I don't know if it's a combination of me stopping for them to, to check the car out and, and to engage in it uh, plus the car itself but whatever it is I am grateful that I was blessed to live, have my dream car um, even as a passport bro traveling to foreign lands to look for my wife and actually finding one in Madagascar and then coming back home, doing all the stuff requiring to get her here. And while doing that, still being able to touch the lives of people in a way that I didn't think was possible. I didn't think doing such a thing like having this car would be a blessing, not just to myself for having it, but to the people that I encounter uh, that appreciate or admire this vehicle. Um, so that's what we're about. We're about living our lives, working, build, you know, building our finances up, not just to go find a wife somewhere. What we as possible rules that we do other things. We touch other people's lives in a way that we, that we rarely talk about in our everyday lives. And it just so happened I was able to do such a thing with this vehicle today. And it is humbling. And I'm sharing it with you not to get attention about it, but to let you so, so people are aware that passport bros are more than just about going after going overseas, finding a wife, taking our money overseas, and staying overseas. And because we don't like or appreciate women, American women, uh, that's so far from the truth. Um, it's just easier, more uh, efficient to find wives abroad. But while we're here, and I have no intentions of going to live overseas unless I have to, um, I am going to live here in the United States and I'm going to share what I have with the people I encounter so they can benefit indirectly and in some cases directly from my presence. Um, at least that's the goal. Anyhow, if you all have any questions, ask it in the comments like subscribe share the video uh, and if you guys out there have cars like this share it drive it so other people can experience and see that these cars are attainable and the people that own them are approachable and we're not snobs or we're none of that stuff and i was so grateful i mean i drive the car barefooted because the pedals are close so i'm jumping out of the car barefooted <laughs> um so you know, and I'm, I'm comfortable driving it barefooted, so I'm not complaining about that. But drive your cars, share it with people, you know. Um, let people, if you see somebody trying looking to admire it, let them see it, you know. You might change somebody's life. Anyhow, y'all have a good night.